Thank you, Dad, and thank you, Miss Denise and Miss Sheila, for encouraging all of our mothers. I sure am thankful for all that my mom does for me. She washes dishes, does laundry, makes meals, and takes care of all us crazy kids while we're running around the house. Well, the baby doesn't run around the house yet, but my mom does it all. She also makes sure we get all of our schoolwork done. I'm sure your mom does a lot of that, too. It's now time for Children's Church. Miss Marsha is going to lead us, so Miss Marsha, take it away. Good morning, kids. I am so glad that you're joining us this wonderful day to honor our women in our lives. This is for all the moms, the grandmas, the aunts, or any woman who is invested in our lives. Kids, I hope you have told your mom this morning, Happy Mother's Day. Before I read the story from the Bible today, kids, I want to give you a little background about our story. So this is a time that you could get your Bible and get ready because we'll be looking it up in just a minute. God's people, the Hebrews, were in slavery. The Pharaoh of Egypt was very jealous of the Hebrews because God was blessing them and they were increasing in number every day. Pharaoh had decided that he had to do something about it. So he sent his army to tell the people that the Hebrew boys, two years and under, had to be thrown into the Nile River. I'm going to tell you today about one brave Hebrew woman from the time that this story was written who had a baby son. She did something for her son that was so brave and took so much courage. I want to read this story from the Bible. So kids, open up your Bible to... Exodus is the second book in the Bible. Genesis, Exodus. Turn to chapter 2. We're looking at verses 1 through 10. As I read it, follow along or look at it in your own Bible. Now a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in the basket, put the top on, and took him and placed him in the Nile River. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the riverbank. She saw the basket among, among the reeds and sent for her female slave to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go to one of the Hebrew women so that she, he, she could nurse the baby? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went for the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, take this baby and feed him for me and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. She named him Moses saying, I drew him out of the water. You've heard this story before. This is the story of Moses. And um, I wanted to tell you that we are going to talk about Moses' life. God had a great plan for Moses. When he grew up, he went to the Pharaoh to ask him to let this people go. But Pharaoh refused to let them go. So God sent 10 plagues upon Egypt. The last plague was so terrible that the Pharaoh finally said, okay, you can leave. So Moses and millions of Hebrews left Egypt to go on their way to the promised land. They hadn't gotten too far when they had come to the Red Sea and they couldn't get across. And when they looked behind them, what did they see but Pharaoh's army coming? What were they going to do? Moses said to the, to the people, stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Lord will fight for you. Now I'm going to show you a short video clip of how God saved the Hebrews.
his staff, you shall do my wonders. God did a miracle that day and showed the Hebrews that God was with them and would help them on their way to the promised land. Aren't you glad Moses' mother was brave and courageous and gave him up so God could use Moses to deliver his people? We can also do great things for God when we listen and obey him. Now, we are going to sing a song that tells the story of Moses leading the Hebrews out of Egypt and across the Red Sea. Come on, kids, stand up and let's sing.
What makes your mom happy? Flowers. When I listen, when I be good or something. A hug. I don't know. That's too tight. What makes your mom sad? When I don't listen. Oh, I go and get hurt. What's something that your mom does every day? Read the Bible, cleans the house, and I think work. Kisses me. <laughs> What's something your mom always says to you? I love you and brush my teeth. Go clean your room. Behave. Don't let the dog upstairs. Do not bother mom when while she's sleeping. How old is your mom? I think five. Twelve. That's a very, very tricky question. Um, I know she's um, a half and something. Seventy. What's your mom's favorite thing to do? Play with me. Sit in that chair. Date night. Shop. Shopping. Go shopping. Just do shopping every day. She always wants to go shopping. Me and I get tired. Doing that, it's kind of boring. Where's your mom's favorite place to go? Chinese restaurant. An animal shop too? I think it's to the mall. Go to the restroom. <laughs> How are you and your mom the same? Our hair. Our eyes. We we'll have the same phones. We're really flexible. We both have long tongues, but my sister and my dad don't really. How are you and your mom different? Our eyes are different. The color of me. I'm brown and she's tan. Mom has curly hair and I have straight hair. I do have better abs. What's your favorite thing about your mom? That she doesn't like to be away from us. When she gets down on the floor and plays with me. She's a really good teacher. I like her face. Her smile. When she lets me put on her makeup. That I can cuddle with her <laughs> at night. She is really special. She's really, 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 really nice. How do you know that your mom loves you? She prays and she kisses me and she says I love you. So she's in my family. How she takes care of us. By making breakfast, do my laundry. That she helps me get dressed. Takes me to all the things I do after school. That she plays games with me. Play soccer with me. Play bubbles. When I sit in her lap. We watch movies. We get our nails painted. Make a scrapbook. Fish. Outside cookouts and bonfires. She spends time with us and not all by herself. She's patient. With us. She does everything with me. Because she says it every day. She says me every night. And all kinds of stuff. I just know that she loves me because she says, I'll always love you. She's awesome. She loves me no matter what. Like God. I love you, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day. hope to be doing this for you in church today. Since we can't, kids, let's stand up and sing this song for your mom. Happy Mother's Day. We are so thankful for you. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love him. I just want to lift my heart in
Thanks for worshiping. Thank you for joining us for online church today. Be sure to tell your mom that you love her. And be sure to stop by Bragg today from 11 to 1 to pick up your gift cards to Peaches and Cream. Have a great day, everyone, and happy Mother's Day.